Thank you very much, uh, Madam Speaker. I want to particularly thank the chair uh, for yielding this time, but also for her very important leadership on the Small Business Committee and for the excellence of her example, getting all of us to the point where we are today. At a time when, as has been said, small businesses are at risk of being pushed out of the federal procurement space due to forces outside of their control, it's imperative that we unite across the aisle, as has been stated, to stand up for those small business concerns and to help grow their presence in the federal contracting space where possible. I'm very pleased to work with Representative Stauber, the distinguished gentleman from Minnesota, who on committee and at this time jointly share an interest in this legislation because of what it does. I look forward to working with Mr. Stauber in the future on other joint endeavors. I also want to thank the Small Business Committee staff for working very hard to pull together this common sense bill that protects small businesses by incentivizing, incentivizing large prime contractors to adhere to their contracting plans. Now, some might say, well, why do you have to do that? Unfortunately, if we don't do it, they will continue as they have done to not adhere to those plans. And it hurts the overall small business community. Currently, prime contractors have very little economic incentive to do the right things, to abide by their subcontracting plans. And these are the plans that they themselves have negotiated. So when prime contractors disregard these pre-negotiated terms, the only recourse that, that we have is to make sure that we find a way to involve ourselves before they're left with their only alternative, which is to file a lawsuit. So given the nature of the courts, any small business relief that may come to them could prove to be too little too late. So again, I want to thank the uh, gentleman from Minnesota. This bill creates an economic incentive for prime contractors to follow their subcontracting plans by requiring any agency of the government uh, to assess those plans and to offer ex advice and an opinion on whether or not they've complied. Uh, would the gentlelady yield for additional 30 seconds? Sure. Uh, so by amending the language um, of the Small Business Act and by expanding its scope, this legislation will give contractors that treat small businesses the right way and the fair way a greater chance at winning federal contracts, and it will hopefully incentivize those contractors that are not to finally do the right thing. So I respectfully ask that my colleagues vote in support of H.R. 7694, the Strengthening Subcontracting Small Business Act of 2022, and I yield back any time I may have remaining. Thank you.